Hey, good morning, everybody. So, um, always messing around with it. Anyway, so a couple of guys from up my way um, got in touch with me, uh, dropped it down in my comments that uh, they're, you know, big time up church fans. Um, Jay Cooper and Bobby. Beatty. I hope I'm saying your last name right. If not, you can yell at me down in the comments. But they basically said, hey, you know, we've been up church fans for a while. And yeah, he's really popular up our way. So there you go. He's and I love him too. So you're universal, man. Um, good is good. And that's what I've been trying to say um, throughout this whole process is that if you're a universal artist, if you're just good at what you do, you're a musician, you have heart, and you know, you're just putting forth the right message that it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter, you know, any of that. You know, love is love and good is good, and that's all that matters. Um, Bobby had a, a request for me though. He said that um, if I really wanted to get a better idea of um, what Ryan's, what he's about, what his message is, or whatever, that I should do Bloodshed. Um, I don't, again, I don't know the song. I don't know what the video is all about. But um, that's what we're going to be doing now is um, Bloodshed by Upchurch. So let's, let's get this video going. And I don't want to cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self implode. In a house made of glass that is already cracked, and destruction's coming back. And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on our own flags. Yeah, on our own grass. Church. I woke up this morning, put the TV on, and I see a civil war in the country I call home. American flags, Confederate flags, and Nazis with swastikas. Hate groups throwing piss because they're mad at the monument. Represents a time when we advance from mistakes. Now you're making the mistake by taking that out of place. You're stomping and spitting on it like you just whooped someone's ass. You fucking degenerate, get your lazy ass off the grass. This ain't a statue of slavery. Do you see any slaves? All I see is some idiots because of social media craze. What you gonna catch me outside? Yeah, we'll come to your face. Because I bleed red, white, and blue. Y'all bleed anger and hate. And I don't want to cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self blow. In a house made of glass that is already cracked. Instructions coming back And I see no love, I see no pride I just see blood on our own flags Yeah, on our own grass Hey, Chip, are you blue? She stained no brain thinking you the man when they copy this flag just waving at your hand. Bitch, I'll start a militia when the government crashes. And light a fire from the y'all's anti American asses. Because y'all think that you run this country just through this molasses. You got people with signs saying that Black Lives Matter. Yeah, Black Lives Matter, but my life matters as well. Y'all trying to get to the swimming pool, but you stuck in the well. And you can shout and condemn, but no one's going to compel when you out tearing up a city that your city held bail. And how your kids going to learn? From mistakes we made in the past when you were racing that shit like you wanted to be mad. And I don't wanna cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self implode. In a house made of glass that is already cracked, and destruction's coming back. And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on our own flags. Yeah, on our own grass. Yeah. From the outside looking in at all the shit that's going on in the world, man, in a perspective of mine, it's kind of like you're sitting in a field with tall grass and it just rained and you got all tires and you're the only acceleration so much that you ain't going nowhere. And if you ain't going nowhere, I ain't going nowhere. Because we got to move together as a country to get to the next destination. destination. And I don't want to cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self-implode. 
In a house made of glass that is already cracked and destruction's coming back. And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on our own flags. Yeah, on our own grass. Um, you know, I've said this, um, several times in, in a couple of my different videos that, um, we are not a country divided right now. We're a fucking pizza. We're, we're splintered. We're shattered. And, um, I think worse than we have ever been. It's not just a race problem. I think within the races, there's even division within, it's not just a class problem, within the classes, there's a division. And I think that's really what he's trying to get at here is that I mean, when it's so divided when it's so splintered and broken what do we do i'm sorry i'm emotional it's just um you go to war to defend a country that you love to a war that you don't agree with, for a man that you don't respect. I'm sorry. But your country was just attacked and, and thousands of people died. And you feel like you should have gone someplace else to solve the problem, but you're doing your job. Oh. To tell you a story. Um, I was stationed in Germany when the towers were hit. I watched them on television. In fact, I watched the first plane hit, and um, my best friend was outside training his soldiers. I can hear him outside the window, and I immediately ran to my window and I called him. And him and his soldiers ran up into my living room, and we together watched the second plane hit. And by that time, my house was crowded, filled, filled with people. And then we went on alert. Um, because we were in a foreign country, we had to make sure that we had all of our soldiers, um, everybody accounted for on base. So for the next 24 hours, we were just kind of like scrambling. We were working. But then we watched um, the president give a speech about how we were going to war, a war on terror. And at that time, I looked at everyone in my living room and I said, we are fucked. This war will never end. And they said, what are you talking about? And I said, you can go to war with a person. You can go to war with a country. But you cannot go to war with an, with an ideology. It's a war you cannot win. Terror has been around forever. Terrorists have been around forever. And because of that, this war will never end. And now here we are, 15, 16, 17 years later, and we're still in it. Our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, now our children 
our children, the original people who went, our children are dying. And our country already went through its first depression in 2008, and we're getting ready to go through our second one. And our country is completely divided, splintered. It's never been as bad as it is right now. So what the fuck did we do it for? What did we do it all for? That's what the original veterans are thinking that that left in 2003 for Iraq. The fuck did we do it for? Why did we lose so many brothers and sisters for this? And all mass shootings, the mass shootings. The biggest threat to Americans right now are other Americans. They're not people from other places. All the mass shootings that are happening in this country are other Americans. I'm sorry, it's just a really, oh, I understand what he's saying. And I get where he's coming from and I understand why he's, why he feels that way. Um, yeah, so I guess that's, that's the end of my commentary. I really don't have anything else to say. Um, it was a good song. It was a good song. Um, please have a good day guys. And don't forget to like comment and subscribe and, um, take care of each other because, um, No one else is going to, right? Ciao.